Welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize your React Navigation Draw Navigator. We'll be using version 2 of React Navigation. So this is what we'll be creating. We have a header here, which has a menu icon on the left. If we click that icon, we see our Draw Navigator opens up from the left side and it has a customized header on top. We can also bring this out by swiping in from the left. So as always, I have an empty React Native project created with Expo and I've opened it up in my favorite code editor, Visual Studio Code, and I have it running here on my iPhone X simulator. We'll start by installing our React Navigation dependency and type npm install React Navigation and we'll go for a particular version of it, which will be 2.6.2. .2. This will make sure that this does not break in the future. Once that's done, just run npm install again. And if you get a red screen here, just restart your Expo project and you should be good to go. So let's start by importing our create draw navigator right at the top here. So we'll say import create draw navigator from react navigation. And here at the bottom, let's create our draw navigator. So we'll say const, let's call it app draw navigator. You can call it anything you like and it'll be create draw navigator and pass in the screens. So it'll have two screens. We'll call it home screen, which points to home, and we'll have a setting screen, which points to settings. Let's just create these two screens. So let's create a new folder here called screens. And inside that, let's create our two files. The first one will be home screen, and the second one will be setting screen. As always, let's add some boilerplate code to these files. So here, this is the home screen. All it does is just pass in the name of the screen. You can get this snippet from the description. And similarly on the settings screen, we'll call this settings screen. Now let's import these two screens into our app.js. So here at the top, we'll say import home screen from screen slash home screen. And similarly, we'll get the settings screen. Now let's pass in our app draw navigator into our return statement. So let's get rid of this view here and let's pass in app draw navigator. Now if we swipe in from the left, we should see our draw navigator ready. That was quite quick. Now it's time to customize this draw navigator. So before we start creating our custom component, let's import certain things from react native. So the first thing we need is safe area view, a scroll view and dimensions. We'll also need this one thing called draw items from react navigation. This will help us pass our draw items into our custom component. So here let's create our custom component. So we'll say const custom draw component. You can call it whatever you like, pass in the props. And here the first thing we'll keep is the safe area view. This will make sure that it gives us a view which is clear of the notch on the iPhone 10. Make sure to give it a flex of one. Next, we'll pass in a scroll view inside it. And then we'll pass in our drawer items. So the way you do that is you use the spread operator to pass in the props. So we have our basic custom draw component created. Let's pass that into our app draw navigator. So here, let's put in a comma. And all you have to do is say content component and pass in the custom draw component. Now if we swipe in from the left, we see we're still getting our two items. Let's style our component a little now. So here on the top, we'll put in a view. Let's give that a height of 150. And let's give it a background color of white. Inside this, we'll put in an image. So let's pull an image here from React Native. And here we'll say source is equal to, we'll require the image. I already have an image in my assets folder. You can use any image that you like. And let's give that image a style, a height of 120, a width of 120, and let's just give it a border radius of 60, so that it's round. Now if we slide in from the left, we'll see that we're getting our image here in our header. Let's align the image to the center by saying align items, center, and justify content, center as well. So here, as you can see, the image is nicely aligned. So earlier in React Navigation 1, there were certain properties that were required here to make the draw toggle, draw open and draw close to work. However, that is not the case in React Navigation version 2. 
So let's test that out. For that, I'm just going to install another library called native base. So open up your terminal and type in npm install native base. Once we have that installed, we'll have access to some handy components. So in our home screen here, let's import in header, left, right, and icon from native base. Now inside our view here, we can get rid of these align items center and justify content center and pass in our header here. So there you can see we've got our nice header. Inside the header, we'll put in a left component and then we'll pass in an icon. The name of the icon we'll give is menu. So native base makes it really easy for us to set this up. We could have done it ourselves as well, but it would have taken slightly longer. Also, let's just wrap our home screen text into a view and align it to the center. I'll give it a flex of one, align item center, and justify content center. Now let's put in an on press on our icon. So we'll say on press is equal to, and here we'll say this dot props dot navigation dot open drawer. Earlier it used to be this dot props dot navigation dot navigate, and you had to put drawer open in the brackets. Now it's just open drawer. Now you'll notice that once we click it, our drawer opens. Also, if you remember, we had imported dimensions here at the top. What we can do is we can get the width of the screen by saying const width is equal to dimensions dot get window. And this way we can also put in a property here inside our drawer, which will be draw width. And if we want, we can pass in the width of the screen. If we want our drawer to take up the whole screen there. If you want, you can put in any other custom property as well. Now we also want to have icons for our draw items. That's also extremely simple to do. So here in our home screen, we'll put in something known as static navigation options. Here we'll pass in the draw icon, which can take a property called tint color. This property we need to pass to our draw navigator in the app.js. And here we'll pass in the icon of type home. And let's style this by giving it a font size of 24 and a color of tint color. Let's save that out in our app.js. Let's put in something known as content options, which define the content. And here we'll say active tint color. And let's give the color orange. Now, if you test that out, you can see that we're getting our icon here. Similarly, you can give an icon for settings as well. So that was a quick video on setting up your custom drawer navigator with react navigation version two. I hope you guys like this. Please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching as always.